Hi folks and welcome back. Uh, this week I'm on the River Waveney. Um, I'm doing a canoe trip with uh, Andy from Kent Survival. Hey Andy. Hello. <laughs> We've just set off from, uh, from Skull, Skull Bridge, um, on the Norfolk-Suffolk border and uh, we're going to paddle downstream towards the sea and see how far we get. We've got three days, we're going to be wild camping, um, but we've just arrived at our first obstacle, uh, which was um, a low, a low uh, branch, a low tree across the river, and whilst we were ducking underneath, my GoPro bit got pinged off its mount at the back of the canoe and sunk to the bottom of the river. The river's about a metre and a half deep, um, so I've now got to get in the river already and try and retrieve my GoPro. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Got it! Nice one. <laughs> now I've just got to get back in. Well, I'm starting to dry off a bit now. This top seems to dry really quickly. I'd say it's probably 80% dry already, which is good. Nice job. <laughs> so this is the River Dove just here. Okay. That's another another river that comes and joins this one. Comes down through the town of I. So we're just going through a, a wider bit of the river here called Hoxon Broad and um, it's much nicer paddling. The weeds have all gone and uh, yeah, much nicer. I'm assuming the river's been up quite high for that to have... Yeah, that'll be when it's in flood. I mean, some, when this river's in flood, it's the whole floodplain is, you know, you're probably, you're probably talking about water levels being two metres or more higher than it is now. Wow. Shit. <laughs> what did you lose this time? Oh, I didn't lose it. It oh, just we... caught the thing. I thought it would get fast. Right, for my lunch today I've got a vacuum packed contained lunch. <laughs> I got a bit carried away with my vacuum packing machine. And um, I just did this to get all the air out of it basically. So I could pack everything in that small dry bag. But I've got uh, crackers. Cheese spread to go on the crackers. Trek bar, 
custard creams, also vacuum packed. <laughs> And black currant drink, which I'm gonna uh, probably make into a hot drink because I really like these hot. So I'm just using a little Trenger burner um, in my honey stove for lunches. Just saves me having to find wood. What are you having for your lunch, Andy? Well, today I'll be having mac and cheese. Hey! <laughs> and after fiddling around with this stove here, I think I've got a configuration that works with the meth burner. Just the stand. Oh, perfect. perfect. <laughs> oh, and windshield. windshield. Hey! <laughs> That was tight. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, shallow here as well. Oh yeah, we have hit the left. Oh my god, what, this must be like this the mill stream or something. There we're yeah. in. No. Asylum Mill, not for the faint-hearted. <laughs> oh.
we got further. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? It's probably one of them piles, wouldn't it? I think it's a big piece of concrete. Oh yeah. Go to the right. Isn't it? Try the right. <laughs> Couldn't see it was right on top of it. No. The sun will flick from there. Probably. Uh, I'm gonna get that look. A bit of tree, I think. So we had quite a hairy bit just back there. We um, we had to get out for uh, Silent Mill, and um, when we got back in again, the it must be just a mill stream. Basically, it was a really narrow little bit of river, and shallow, and there were trees down, and it was a nightmare. It was really sort of claustrophobic, <laughs> and we kept getting stuck and having to get out and push and scraping and <sighs> but it's all good like being fun. in Venice <laughs> just like being in Venice <laughs> I sat there while you pushed <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <sighs> all good fun One's bigger than yours. Aww. <laughs> These are the most curious cows we've uh, come yeah. across. They followed us all the way from one portage point to the entrance. 
<laughs> I could have come with us. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Well, we're just approaching the village of Mendham. We've done quite a few miles today and uh, it's nearly seven o'clock. We're both getting pretty hungry. I'm pretty hungry. How about you, Andy? Yep, I could eat. I could eat. <laughs> so I think we're going to get past the village and uh, it looks on the map like there's a little, little tiny bit of woodland uh, away from everything else. Um, about a mile or so out of the village so I think what we're going to do is take a little look and probably sit up in there and get some dinner on the go and uh, perhaps uh, perhaps a small alcoholic beverage with dinner a very small one. <laughs> just, just a small one <laughs> we're, we're traveling lightweight <laughs> like a wall of metals at the moment. Uh, the whole thing could be, couldn't it? It could be. So this is the wood that we were going to camp in. But uh, as you can see, the nettles are so long and deep and thick that I mean we probably could clear a patch big enough for two tents but we're going to get stung to hell in the process and um, so what we've decided to do is just at the edge of the wood there's actually an open bit of waste field here with nothing in it so we we're going to we hope <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to uh, camp on the other side on just on the in the grassland there right next to the woodland so we've still got the wood for for fuel wood and um you know, the river is just, just there behind Andy. Look. What do you reckon, Andy? Yep, it's that time. Yeah, <laughs> we long, need. long grass is better than long nettles, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. It's late. It's uh, eight o'clock in the evening now. You know, we've been paddling all day since, I don't know, what, 11 o'clock? Yeah, So uh, we're pretty knackered. We're just gonna, gonna get our tents up, get some food on the go, and, um, and sit and chill for a bit. My flame's taller. <laughs> right, what I've got here is, believe it or not, dehydrated baked beans with a little bit of tinned tomatoes. And um, it seems to have just turned into a lump. <laughs> it feels going to a lump. But it dehydrated uh, flat. That's, it, it did. There must have been a bit of moisture in there. Maybe it didn't completely dehydrate. I think the tomatoes could have done with just a little bit longer. But I'll break that up. Um, and then all I need to do is add enough water uh, to get up to the 600 mils mark. And, um, and I know that that is then what it was before it was dehydrated. So um, yeah, that'll be our beans to go with our dinner. We are having uh, corned beef hash 
So we've got uh, mashed potatoes here, cheddar cheese mashed potatoes, um, which we'll do right at the end because they just need really rehydrating with hot water. Uh, corned beef um, and an onion. So we'll fry the onion up first um, and mix in the corned beef, then make up the mash, mix it all together and we'll have it with beans and uh, I've even got a little bottle of Tabasco sauce just to zing it up a little bit. It's the uh, Great British Bean Off this the, weekend. The Great British Bean Off. Try yours and then we'll try my yeah. dehydrated beans. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, Eddie and I had a conversation um, before the trip about, about, well you'd seen it on Instagram hadn't yeah, you? Yeah, someone, someone doing uh, beans and sausages, tinned beans and sausages dehydrated. Yeah, <laughs> so we both had a go. Andy's done some and I've done some as well. I've got some for breakfast, um, either tomorrow or um, or the next day. And we've got um, we've got these ones tonight. So I think they'll be all right. They, like I say, they I, I don't think I'd got all the moisture out of them, but I only did them the day before yesterday. So they're, they're still good, you know. They probably wouldn't last sort of weeks or months, but um, they were certainly lighter to bring than a can of beans. Right, I've got some onions burning away nicely in the frying pan. The um, beans have uh, rehydrated mostly. Just got a stir in, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's thickening up. Oh yes. And we've got all of that as well. Corned beef and onions and beans. So it's uh, yeah, it's going to be a Good old feast, I think. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going with a plate. <laughs> you want your beans just on, over the top of it? Why not? <laughs> oh, I see my, see my stomach <laughs> going there. I think we might have to just do seconds if you need it. <laughs> Thank you. It definitely tastes better than it looks. <laughs> Just. <laughs> it's calories. <laughs> mm -hmm. Actually, the nope, grass in there now. Actually, the beans are rehydrated all right, haven't they? Mm. They taste much much like they did before, but they've just they've broken up a bit. Mm. Wilderness IPA. Cheers. What have you got Andy? <laughs> <laughs> Special brew. <laughs> Special brew. <laughs> I think they, they're good these little things though. They do chuck out quite a bit of heat don't they? Yeah it's a lot less tidying up than a campfire as yeah. well. Yeah, that's enough. Well, folks, it's uh, about quarter past 11 and um, I think we've got to turn in. Um, we're both pretty tired. We've had a, a long day of paddling today and we've got another long day of paddling tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, we've had a nice evening. We've sat around, we've had a beer and we've had a chat. Um, Andy's suffering quite badly with hay fever, mainly because we're camped in amongst a whole load of very long grass, which is all all at seed. But um, yeah, hopefully he'll feel a bit better in the morning. But uh, yeah, it's been raining as well for the last, last hour or so, only very lightly, but um, yeah. It wasn't forecast, <laughs> but uh, never mind, these things happen. But yeah, I'll see you in the morning. Back. Back. <laughs>